Oh, out. so they get, oh, so they get rolled out after at thirty, and they're and then they're yeah, just like, like go back well, I think society? it's older than thirty. Well, okay. I don't know what because I was thinking maybe they'll because I was thinking what are they gonna do with us older women like when mm. we're single, childless, and like and mm. I was like maybe they'll legalize prostitution. I would hurt the market. Uh -huh. <laughs> the chicks. Well, but then then I found out, um, yeah, they. Yeah, men don't obviously want to bang old chicks, and right. only five percent stay past the age. They're either thirty-five or I yeah. think it's forty. I think it's forty. Mm, yeah. Stay where? Like keep practicing. They oh, prostitution they can't work. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, right, 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 like they're right, out right, of work. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and then most. I mean, let's be for real. Like most OnlyFans models, <laughs> yeah, model, don't even make any money at all. It's really like the one percent of of like these chicks actually make and any money. They're always at all. managed by men. We're so yep. stupid. We can't even sell sexuality. <laughs> that is the one thing. It's like, why are we? And you know, I know there's exceptions to every yeah. rule, but as a group, guys, we're dummies. <laughs> like we're idiots. <laughs> Hence the one-liners at the beginning of the show. Right? Oh, <laughs> that always surprised me about the whole OnlyFans model management, like model though. You know that. Yeah. Tates were doing and the various other people. It's, it's a bit like, well, can't these girls, like, they're the ones with the goods. Can't they sell mm. it themselves? They're like, no, no, we do all the back end stuff and everything. It's like, well, yeah, yeah. but surely, I mean, is it? Because they only work two hours a day or they'll work, they'll work one day a week because that's enough money. Mm. And then it's like, cool, the rest is my free time. Mm. <laughs> and they always say that, my free time. <laughs> <laughs> but, I think I think even like um, like you said, OnlyFans girls. I mean, obviously not you know a, a fraction of them are making the really big money, but yeah. there's opportunities. I mean, I've personally met women, yes. not OnlyFans, but with small Instagram accounts, who are getting who are doing overseas trips. They're getting flown around by people like they're in sugar arrangements. You mm. know, they, they're getting so they're not. It's not. It's a very soft form of hoeing, if you like. Yeah, I mean, yeah not, You know, it's not like they're they're getting large sums of money, but they're certainly getting trips. They're certainly it's getting advantages yeah. mm. off of. You know, and these aren't girls with massive following. So it's just incredible the amount of power. Most, most women, 80% of women are hooking for trips. They're not even hooking for money. They're, they just want the picture that they're yeah. in fucking Cancun or they're out in Dubai. They're not I, even getting paid money. Like, the, you, you, you did all that traveling, you get a G. Congratulations, <laughs> right? And like, and, I mean, just I mean, and I'm not, just because um, somebody in the chat, the chat's kind of going crazy about this and stuff. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with recording yourself with your kids. You should take as many pictures as with your kids. That's beautiful, of course. But what we're, what we're talking about is like all these – like is if you take a picture in a little video, cool. But it shouldn't be like – that should be like five seconds or five minutes of whatever you're doing. And then you're, the phone's away. And you're, and you're with the people you're talking to and stuff, right? Unless you have like a business or something, of course, well, right? No, it's kind of weird. You start to see these like moms treat their kids like purses. Like a purse? Mm. Yeah. Like oh. it's so weird. Like showing it off. Yeah, mm. it's so weird. It's such a weird phenomenon where I'm like, is this like you don't even seem to like your kid. You just like no, like the Instagram down. picture yeah, but, that's but, with it. But that's also the Tricon thing, isn't it? Where the Tricon's like, Oh, this is this is look, this is true happiness. Oh, not Dan Bill not Dan Bill Zarian. Look at me with my kids, you know, and it's mm. like, well Have you seen oh my god, I tra I trigger the Tradcon women <laughs> so hard. Yeah. Because, <laughs> well, because I just point out and like I don't claim to be like a, a traditional woman, but it's mm. like all these chicks are like playing pretend. I'm like, you got married at twenty eight and you had two kids, that's feminism. Like feminism, yeah, like yeah, because yeah. traditional women spend their primary reproductive years, which is like before the age of twenty five, like they care about the family first, not themselves. Yeah. So I was like, if you're not married before twenty five, sorry, traditional gone. Were you a virgin? No. And yeah. you had two kids. It's like okay, like that's feminism. I'm not saying you're a bad person, but it's like they they treat me like I'm like talking crazy when I'm like I don't think that's traditional. Yeah. Mm. It's like they yeah. just got lucky and cashed out at the top almost or something like that. Yeah, and yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm not, I'm, which not is, hate, which... I'm not hating you for yeah, it. I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't think that's But a lot of like... girls fuck that up. They don't sell the top. They, they don't they don't they don't get at twenty eight. They're like they're trying and they're fucking it up because they keep going because I, I you would know I know you know a lot of women and stuff that are like, Oh yeah, I'm trying to find a husband and but then they start dating fucking idiots again and then and then, then by the time they're like, Oh fuck, I'm thirty two now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Most of them fumble the most girls fumble that bag. That's a big shit that's pushed out a lot. Is that like I mean, if you actually look at the actual the Cosmopolitan Casino, it's named after this fucking whole thing. They pushed they pushed that whole thing of that lifestyle, and they didn't exist. It was bullshit. It was totally fake. I'll try to find the book later for you guys, but there's a whole book on that whole thing that they pushed out during the 70s and 80s with the Cosmopolitan and stuff like that. I mean, the Sex and the City shows and stuff like that. that's mm. all bullshit. Like, I mean, if you, even if you look at something like um, Oprah, like Oprah's like magazine and stuff, they, they did calculations. If you actually want to live the Oprah lifestyle, it was like you had to be, you had to be wasting two hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year to do all the stuff that's being shown mm. on there. And so, so it's it's all fucking a grift and mm. stuff like that. It, but it is what it is, you know.
This is why, like, at the end of the day, you have to choose what you want for your life. You yeah, know? I think that's... And it makes sense when they're, like, red pill guys, like, don't give advice. Because, like, every guy has to, like... There's pros and cons to every decision. Yeah. I know some guys do, but, like, I understand why there are others, at least a sector, that don't. Because every <laughs> guy kind of has to make a decision for himself. Mm. 